ikaw ba'y nababagot o nababalot na ng lungkot? Dahil madalas sa math, hindi alam ang sagot. Huwag ka nang mag-alala. Dahil dito sa aking programa, Welcome na Welcome Ka! Short Math with Maestro Olaso In this video, you will learn some techniques and methods in solving math problems. Kaya't manood na at matuto kay Maestro Olaso. Alright, so welcome sa ating uh, episode at ngayon pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa simplifying fractions or sometimes reducing to lowest term. This topic is commonly used especially if the topic is all about fractions. No? Lahat ng operations laging kasama ang simplifying at saka reducing fractions into lowest term. Ayan, marami tayong mga method, marami tayong ways on how to simplify fractions. Ang pinaka-common dyan, if you are a fast learner, for example, reducing or simplifying fractions with this example, 6 twelfths. So kung ikaw ay mabilis mag-isip ng greatest common factor or GCF, yun ang isipin mo. Ano ba ang GCF ng 6 and 12? Yes, the GCF of 6 and 12 is 6. You just simply divide the greatest common factor or the GCF of 6 and 12 so that you will get the lowest term or the simple fraction. So we have now 6 twelfths is equal to 1 half. Ayan. So, bakit natin kailangan pag-usapan o matutunan ang simplifying fractions? Alam yung mga kamatinik kasi we need to simplify also our work. For example, Anna gave 6 twelfths of her pizza to her sister. Ayan. So, medyo magbibilang pa tayo, no? Hahatiin pa natin sa 12, tapos kukunin natin ang 6. Pero kung marunong tayo mag-simplify, we just simply say that Anna gave one half of her pizza to her sister. So, ganun ka simple, no? So, napakahalaga ng reducing at ng simplifying fractions. Ngayon naman, I'll give you another method kung paano mag-simplify. The step-by-step -step one. So, handa ka na ba? So, let's try this one. What is the simplest form of 12 over 18 or 12 eighteenths. So, let's have the first step. Get the prime factors of each number. So, kung gusto mo, i-apply mo yung mga method kung ano yung natutunan mo. Pwedeng gamitin yung continuous division or the composition method or yung tinuro ko nung nakaraang episode, factor 3. Okay? Ang sabi dyan, kailangan nating makuha yung prime factors ng bawat number. So, let's start with 12. Using the factor 3, ano ba ang pair of factors muna ng 12? Pwede mong gamitin yung 6 and 12. Pwede namang 4 and 3. Mamili ka lamang. So, let us use 4 and 3. So, 3 is already a prime factor. Pero yung 4, ano pa ba ang factor niya? Yes, we have 2 times 2. So, we have now the prime factors of 12. 2 times 2 times 3. Kunin naman natin ang prime factors ng 18. Mag-isip ka ulit ng pair of factors. Pwedeng 3 times 6. Pwede naman 2 times 9. Mamili ka lamang. So, let's use 6 times 3. So, yung 3, okay na tayo. Doon naman tayo sa 6. Ano pa ang prime factors ng 6? Yes, we have 2 times 3. So, the prime factors of 18 are 2, 3, and 3. The second step, List down all the prime factors and cancel the common factors. Simula natin sa 12. Ang prime factors niya, 2 times 2 times 3. Also, the prime factors of 18, we have 2 times 3 times 
3. Now, sabi dyan, let's cancel all the common factors. Ano dyan ang unang ika-cancel? We have 2. Okay, meron pa ba? Yes, we have also 3. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, ang natira na lang sa 12 ay 2, while sa 18 ay 3. Therefore, the simplest form or the lowest term of 12 over 18 is 2 thirds. Yan na po ang ating lowest term. Let's have another example. What is the simplest form of 18 over 24 or 18 24 Let's try the step 1. Get the prime factors of each number. Simula natin using the factor 3. Ano ba ang prime factors ng 18? So, pag-isipan mo, kanina lang, sinagot natin yan. So, let's try 6 and 3. Yung 6 meron pa, 2 times 3. So, we have the prime factors, 2, 3, 3. 24, you can use any pair. Pwedeng 2 times 12, pwedeng 6 times 4, pwedeng 3 times 8. Mamili lamang doon. So, kamitin natin ang 6 times 4. So, hindi pa parehas to prime, no? So, let's have 6, 2, and 3. We have also 4. 2 and 2. So, we have now the prime factors. 2, 3, 2, 2. So, let's have the second step. List down the prime factors and cancel the common factors. Unayin natin yung 18. So, we have 2, 3, and 3. We have also 24, 2, 3, 2, and 2. So, cancel natin ang common factors. Meron silang parehong 2. Meron pa silang parehong 3. Meron pa ba? Okay, so ang natira sa 18 ay 3, ang natira sa 24 ay 2 times 2. I-multiply mo yan. So, what is 2 times 2? 4. So, the lowest term for 18 over 24 is 3 fourths. Ganun lamang kasimple, kaya huwag mong pahirapan ng iyong sarili. Huling example, what is the simplest form of 12 over 24 or 12 24 Let's have the first step. Get the prime factors of each number. Simula natin sa 12. Ayan. Ano ba ang pair? Pwede natin gamitin 2 and 6 ulit. 4 and 3. So, 4 and 3 ang gamitin natin. Yung 3, okay na. Pero sa 4, hindi pa. Kunin natin ang pair, which is 2 times 2. Meron pa ba? Wala na. Yan ang prime factors ng 12. 2 times 2 times 3. What about 24? Mamili ka ulit. Kanina, sinagot na natin yan. So, gamitin natin ulit ang 6 and 4. Sa 6, meron pa 2 and 3. Sa 4, meron pa. We have 2 and 2. So, the prime factors are 2, 3, 2, 2. Second step, list down the prime factors and cancel the common factors. Ano ba yung mga prime factors? So, ayan, 2 times 2 times 3. What about 24? We have 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. I-cancel na natin. Anong parehas? 2. Parehas. Ano pa? Meron silang parehong 2. Meron pa. Meron pa silang parehong 3. So, ang natira sa 12, wala. Anong gagawin, sir? Sa 24, ang natira ay 2. Kapag walang natira at nag-cancel na tayo, automatically, ang laging natitira dyan ay 1. Because all the numbers ay may factor na 1 and it's set. Kaya, ang final answer natin or the lowest term or the simplest form of 12 over 24 is 1 half. Ayan ang ating lowest term. Ayan, ganun lang kabilis kung paano mag-simplify or mag-reduce ng fraction sa lowest term. Kaya't ano pang hinihintay mo? Kunin mo na ang inyong module at hanapin na ang mga fractions na kailangan mong i-simplify or i-reduce sa lowest term. Maraming maraming salamat! Happy learning!